guys. I wanted to take the time um, to basically show you a little thing, a couple things actually, to uh, do for exercises. Now keep in mind, again, I am not, I'm not a medical practitioner. I'm not um, therapist, uh, physical therapist, and just wanted to give a couple uh, things. If you're I'm, I'm two and a half months now as a uh, below the knee amputee and putting pressure to my limb. So um, any of these suggestions, if they hurt, stop. Um, make sure you put some socks on. Actually, before this video, I had to go get a three-ply sock and apply it to make sure that I wasn't uh, in pain and or having pressure points. Um, good key factor to know if you need a new sock, if you're basically sunk in, um, all the way to like the bottom of your socket here. I would say if your knee goes in quite a bit, and then also if you feel your limb just basically bottoming out, uh, and just basically what bottoming out means is your limb is hitting the bottom of the actual um, socket. So if you if you feel any of these, um, please please stop what you're doing and uh, you know just just make sure that you're okay with it. So. Okay, so one of the things we have here is um, crutches. So the reason why I have crutches and I have my leg on, you're asking why do you do this? Um, so basically when I get up in the morning, sometimes my leg feels like it's way high, okay? And you'll just sit here and just kind of do this number, okay? Um, never put all your weight on it right away. Um, just what I usually do is I just take, this is my, this is my below the knee amputee prosthetic. I usually take my leg and then just pat it like this uh, you're going to see my animals coming in and out of this. So uh, if you see them, enjoy them, uh, embrace it. So, but anyways, I take my prosthetic and I usually push it down like this and then that allows to get the air and then also on top of it, what I'll usually do is, as I'm throwing the crutches here, usually take this liner, if you have a vacuum socket, um, just go ahead and roll it down and then roll it back because obviously what you have here uh, now, because you sunk in, maybe the actual um, liner itself could be sucking into the socket, and that's not good for the longevity of it. So, um, as long as you have those things, what I usually do is I take these, I take these, and I'm going to try to illustrate me not sunken in, but I'll usually do this, and then just come up real slow. Okay? Um, obviously, as your limb shrinks, um, and padding gets added on, and what have you, now I'm to the point where I don't need these, however, if the prosthetist uh, puts more padding on it, what have you, um, it's going <clears> to <throat> um, it's gonna cause you not to sink in as well. And so just, you know, in the morning, I usually don't have a sock on, and I'm doing this motion. So this is going to help uh, basically get your leg to sink in, so you can uh, basically do whatever activities that you can. Um, so after your leg is sunken in, let's just say you go to work and have you and you want to do some exercises. These are great. So I wanted to outline a couple. So number one issue that I had was balance, right? Balance. So obviously if you don't have balance, you're going to go like this. You're going to go like this. You know, you're going to slide, what have you. The biggest part that I had, uh, because I didn't have the mobility to move on the right side of my ankle, um, basically I was falling out all the time. I was doing this number or this. Um, at the very beginning, my prosthetist and I actually worked on uh, screwing in the screw right here. So it's basically shoving my leg and causing it to go like this. And so, which was, it was kind of used to that. But however, okay, balance. So what you can do is um, some people throw cards out there. And when I made my cards, they actually throw cards on the ground. And then they'll actually say, okay, point here, and point here, or here, or here. So what I basically tell people is that in the order for you to get your balance, I'm going to back up, is to basically pick somewhere a tile. It's going to be a tile in my case. So I want to go to these two tiles right here, go like this, and go like this. See, I still struggle a little bit, but you know, just make sure without moving your leg, your left leg, or right leg, or what have you, whatever leg is yours still, um, just, just basically hold your weight and then point to it. And then what this is doing is basically teaching yourself how to balance yourself and keeping the weight on your leg when relieving this side. So what I usually do is I just do this, okay, just do a couple of these. The more you do it, the more easier it's going to get, the more you're going to build up the muscle here. So just do a couple of these. 
<coughs> just go like this. If you want to get real froggy, let's go like this. Challenge yourself. Um, take, take every day, challenge yourself. When I did this at first, I was falling. Um, I was basically falling, I was doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, and the biggest part was me trusting the actual limb holding me up because it's not a part of you. I feel, at the very beginning, it feels like, you know, wearing a stilt to what have you, so you have to trust it. Um, so another exercise that I was doing in physical therapy is just doing this. Just taking your prosthetic, pointing to it, and adding your weight to it, okay? At very first, this hurt so much because I'm actually taking my weight and I'm pulling it off like this. So, again, if it hurts, don't do this. So just usually go like this. Just get your shuffle on, okay, as I were to say. Just get your shuffle. See if you can keep it as straight as possible. As you can see, I'm still losing my balance, so I'm not perfect. So just work your way towards it. And uh, also, go to the front. Do it. Roll to the back, okay? Rolling to the back is, it was really difficult for me because I was actually taking this and I was kind of, I was falling and I was doing this motion, okay? So just take it to the front, roll it to the back. Try to keep it as straight as possible. As you saw, I just lost my balance there. But, you know, just keep it, keep it as much as possible, keep it close, and just work on these exercises, okay? Um, the biggest part that it's going to be for you is that I was consistently looking down because I didn't know what the placement was of my actual leg. You know, my, my actual leg now feels like it's up here, however, I can't feel anything down there. So, the biggest part that I can tell you is try to do this and not look at it at the same time, okay? It's not going to be overnight, it's not going to be next week, it may not be next month, a couple months. Uh, but just learn to trust your leg. Leg's going to hold you in, can't pull it off, so just learn to trust it. So just do these motions. Um, also, you can do a, uh, I'm going to say do a four uh, step as well. So take this, take this and go like this, go up, go to the side, and go to the back. Okay, side, up, side, and back. Okay, as you can see, I learned to, uh, losing my balance a little bit because, again, I'm not perfect. So nobody's perfect. Everyone's going to go at their own pace, okay? Again, two and a half months up. So just, you know, do your best. So just keeping your leg aligned with the other one. It's basically teaching your brain that, hey, by the way, this is my new, new limb. See, I almost fell. Uh, and just, just trusting it. So I'm not perfect. Two and a half months, I walk great. However, I still have balance issues. Every once in a while, I'll go like this, and I'll actually fall like this. So, just take your time, learn. Um, the biggest thing is also putting all your weight on it. So, when you go like this, again, I'm not perfect. Try to take it and hold all your weight. And I challenge you to basically go like this and see how long you can stay on it. So, you're trying to take that weight and balance with it. This one hurt for me the most because I was taking on my weight and I was shoving it right on the actual leg. So, see how long you can balance and then also just take it. I'm better at this because I don't, I don't have a foot anymore, so just take it and balance as much as you can, okay? So this one's easier than this one because obviously, as you can see, I'm still getting used to it. So, just take it and balance. Um, one other thing that you can do is take your leg, go like this, then take it and try to go like this, see? Still falling. I think it's great that I do this portion because a lot of people see me and go, you still, you don't have any problems. No, I do. Um, it's still, it's still a learning practice. So this still hurts a little bit, not nearly as much. However, when I was putting my weight on it, I, I would sit here and just sweat profusely because I was in so much pain. So, you know, just, just take it and try to get your balance. So try not to fall. Please do not fall. Um, and just take it at your own pace. Um, also, just see if you can do this. Okay, again, we're going to go to the front, go to the back, go to the side. Take any of these exercises, mix them up.
Okay, the more you mix it up, the more you're challenging yourself, the more the brain's getting used to the foot. So just, you know, just challenge yourself. Every day, get up, try to do this motion, usually at the office, believe it or not. I'm just, I'm doing these numbers. And then as you get used to it, try to hop. That was a horrible example. But just go like this. Get used to it. Again, it's going to take time. I'm not perfect. So I think it's good that I show this because, again, a lot of people say, you walk great. No. Um, great to me is not falling over still. However, everyone has their definition. But the more you do this, um, the more you're gonna you're gonna take muscle and you're gonna add this muscle on this side atrophied so much because I wasn't using it for that two months and you know just try to add your weight on it do a couple squats and always always look forward so doing this will basically <laughs> show you how to get your balance going okay. So I'll leave that at that, we're, I'm guessing at 10 minutes, but still guys, take it, take it day by day, if you fail, get up the next day and do it again. Um, again, don't do it, so you hurt yourself, and every, you know, everything's going to be just fine, just go at your own pace, and obviously what the physical therapist tells you, do whatever the physical therapy, uh, therapist helps you, but I'm just looking, uh, I'm just showing you guys generally what I learned, so um, if you like, if you have any comments or what have you, go ahead and post them below. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. It doesn't do anything for me. However, it does post the videos up so more people like yourself can benefit from this. Um, and then if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click this button. It's probably not correct. Go ahead and click the button in the lower right-hand corner. And then therefore you can subscribe to us. But until then, everyone have a great rest of your weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye.